Hello and welcome back to this new episode of our course. So today's we'll be talking about Webpack. You may be asking me if you are new to this topic, you may say, what is Webpack? Does it represent any dependencies or PHP stuff or anything else? No, simply Webpack is a module bundler. And by Googling and looking what Wikipedia are saying about this, look at this first sentence. Webpack is an open source JavaScript module bundler. This very first abstract definition give us like a, a first sight about what this Webpack could be. Now let's go to its official website, which is webpack.gs.org and we are granted a welcome with this beautiful image that illustrate what Webpack could do really. So by looking to the left side of this image, we have these boxes which really represent a modules with dependencies. What does that mean modules with dependencies? Let's take the example of SCSS or SAS here. We all know that SAS is not available and our browser could not understand a SAS file and apply style of framing. So we need a tool that transform this SAS or this SCSS or less into a readable browser format, which is .css. Here we come our player, here we come Webpack, in the middle of this operation to take this SAS file and convert it into a CSS file. So exactly the same thing is here for the CSG, for example. So CSG is like a subversion of JavaScript, but is not compatible again with native browsers. Okay, so we need the middle player that convert this CSG into a GS and our player is Webpack. And also Webpack is not the only player in the field. So we have Browserify, we have Gulp, we have pretty much a lot of them. And by simply Googling Webpack, similar tools, we have a list of the tools that can do the same mission of Webpack, but order it with some popularity static. So we have Gulp, GS, we have Grunt, we have Parcel, which is big player, big concurrent of Webpack, Branch, Browserify, and the list goes on. So that was in brief, what is Webpack? And the second question, what Webpack is doing with PrestaShop? So the answer here is pretty much simple since we did understand what is Webpack. So in PrestaShop 1.7, they changed the way the themes are worked and reworked, okay? So let me drag this folder containing my themes files. So by looking, I'm here under my theme, Alui Dash theme assets, I have assets, CSS and GS files but they are a production version. So by looking into one of these, for example, this theme.scss, let's drag it and open it in the browser directly. We do see that it's a minified version and it's almost impossible to use it for development. This is why they did introduce a new development assets. So by moving back to the Racine or the root of my theme and get into underscore dev, we have development assets. So let's open CSS again and see if this theme.css and open it again in the browser. We do see that we have a source code between quotes, if we can say that version of the CSS that we can manipulate, compile, do a lot of things and move back to Webpack and let him convert it into this production version. So this is how Webpack is introduced into PrestaShop 1.7.